ओके द रिकॉर्डिंग हैज बीन स्टार्टेड ए क्विक अपडेट ऑन द राइड इज आई एम ऑलमोस्ट हाफ वे एंड इट्स टू ओ क्लॉक इन द आफ्टरनून द रोड्स आर पैथेटिक मैन आई आई वॉज नॉट एक्सपेक्टिंग दीज दीज काइंड ऑफ रोड्स I thought at least the national highway is after at least getting out of the city around 150 at least after 150 kilometers I'll get some nice roads but no because there the nice the good roads are available only for f- few kilometers that's all the bypass road after that no the roads are so bad see see You think that road is good but the actual road is not like that it's it's kind of like a uh, wave you see this this is down this is up and that side is again down that is that is how uh, these roads are i just hope the remaining roads are good man because there is still half of the way that i have to cover and if the roads are not good it will be a, it will be a headache for me because i haven't booked a hotel i don't know how many days i'm going to live. i'm i'm going to go out of the city i just didn't plan anything but only thing was there in my mind was i have to go to sikkim and back come back that's all i have to see i have to go i have to go for a ride that is that is all uh what was there, what was there in my mind let me see what happens after going there i will figure out something if not there are always railway stations and bus stops i have to adjust there only <laughs> i don't have any problem uh it's just that i don't know where to buy uh, park my bike if if that's the case there's nothing much to be honest i saw a beautiful bridge near the ganga river that was awesome uh, i mean both the sides there was a canal kind of a thing and in the, and in the center there was the river oh my god it was so beautiful unfortunately my <laughs> the gopro was not uh, on at the time so i couldn't shoot that and i didn't take the photos as well because uh, when i saw in the map i saw a bigger bridge i just took a half an hour break talking to friends had to cup of chai i saw few uh, bikers going in this route i want to catch up with them but i don't want to speed up and put myself in risk also so let me see if i can see them or not i'll go in my usual pace if i can see them i'll have a word with them i'll talk with them maybe i can learn something from them Oh those are the guys yeah one guy is going in a classic 350 one guy is going in a himalayan if i follow them they think that i will be i'm stalking them or i'm trying to race them i don't know where they are going i think they are also going to darjeeling i have to ask them if they stop anywhere i'm definitely going to ask them they are fully geared up man <laughs> and me i have only these gloves and a helmet that's it i'm not geared up like them i'll buy I'll I'll buy it soon. They are riding pretty calm, around 80. I usually cruise at 90 and 100. I mean, this bike can do that easily. Seriously, man, I'm I'm so much impressed with the CBR 250R. I don't feel like riding any other bike. I don't feel comfortable in any other bike. Every other bike seems to me like a nonsense they are not like they it just makes sense everything makes sense in the cbr 250r for example uh i rode around 120 kilometers in the city and uh, uh around 305 kilometers so if you minus 120 from 305 it's 185 So 180 kilo 185 kilometers I rode in highway 
and uh, 120 kilometers in the city and uh, combined when I fueled up again when I did the full tank uh, 8.5 liters exactly 8.5 liters was consumed so if you check if you calculate that it comes around 35.8 kilometers and you can consider it as 36 kilometers 36 kilometers of mileage from 11 year old motorcycle 250cc I am so much impressed man I don't think any other bike can do this any other bike I haven't found any bike which can do this and I'm not, I'm not impressed by any bike after riding this bike and experiencing all the qualities and experiencing so many things in this bike the good, the bad and everything now I feel like a, every other bike is no, it's not up to the mark and when I think about buying a bigger motorcycle right the only motorcycle what, what I want to buy for the long drives and all is the Africa Twin uh, that was there in my mind That's a, that was the only bike which was there in my mind now that Transalp 750 has been released and I find that bike very good I mean that's more than enough to be honest but after I, uh, every time I ride the, the 250R I don't feel like there is any need for the, the bigger machine I mean this can do this can do easily 100 110 cruising but and I feel like I why should I buy those bigger machines that's how it's my honest opinion man every time I ride this bike I feel like I don't need any other bike than this but this bike does age everything ages everything comes to an end and this bike will also come to an end I don't know what I will do when this bike finally gives up and you know says that that's all uh, I mean I don't know how to how to even think of that because uh, if I see the odometer see it has done 65 and a half thousand kilometers okay and it's returning at 36 mileage even after 11 years and not even a single part is changed inside the engine not even the clutch plates not anything everything is still stock and everything is what came from the uh, sh company it's like that only and I recently changed the chain sprocket before coming to Kolkata maybe I would have done maximum of 2000 kilo 1500 kilometers that's all I changed it around 64,000 kilometers and now I have done 65,000 uh, 65 so one and a half thousand kilometers ago that's it they put all the fancy features in mechanically it's already getting dark man that's one more headache for me it gets pretty dark very early wow 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 I don't know if people can see or not but amazing it's so good man I wonder what it will look like when it rains I'm 100% sure you can you cannot see anything around it's just water 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 everywhere but honestly this this feels amazing as it feels like I'm <laughs> I'm somewhere else this is the river Ganga, I think. It was written as Ganges in uh, maps. So dangerous here. Speed limit they have given as 20 kilometers. But really, I'm very much impressed here. Ah, if there was nothing by the side, and uh, if it was like an open edge, like if, like if this was the edge of the river then it would be awesome I would have stopped the bike I would have taken nice pictures 
it would feel amazing like but since it is like this i cannot do anything i have to move forward and i don't think you should stop also this is already a tight road and if i stop here to take pictures then these truck guys will definitely run over me and go they don't care Those kids are happy man. I like to see like like smile. They were pretty good kids. They were happy to see my bike. That's all for now. Uh I'll give you an update once I stop somewhere to eat. I mean, I have few fruits in my bag. But again I have to unpack everything. I have to untie the bungee cords. Ah. Uh, I just don't want that. It just consumes a lot of time. and it gets dark very early in west bengal around 4:35 only it starts getting dark which is not at all the case compared to south so i have to cover as much distance as possible when there is light there is one more thing that i have to say before uh, you know continuing this video in after some time if if you are traveling in bike or if you are traveling in car or any 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 mode of uh, personal transport please look out for animals uh please don't hurt them and uh, don't don't make that even for fun as well just to pass the time please don't do that i mean i can i have at least, i have seen at least five, five to six dogs or some kind of animal dead on the road from morning so please look after the animals and uh, try try to have a good look around the road in which you are going if you find anything that is interrupting the road sl slow down there's nothing harm there's no harm in slowing down it might be animals but still whenever i see that i mean i, I feel kind of sad that's that's the reason why i'm telling this Please do not do that. Try to go as much as careful as possible. So do not hurt any animals, bro. That's that's all I want to say. Until then, I'll give you the update of the ride after some times. See you. I hope it recorded. Yes.